Hi everybody, it's me Maria with Nail Nation and Nail Nation 3000. Um, and to save a little bit of time, I went ahead and did these three nails base so that you could see what we're going to do for this confetti design. We're going to repeat the French on this tip and we're going to repeat this center line on our thumb. And what I did was I polished my nails with this color, which actually is a Franken that I made um, with a couple of colors um, by OPI and a really good amount of regular Spectra Flare and Copper Spectra Flare. And I just colored one coat. It's pretty opaque, so I don't have to go over it with a second coat. And then I used OPI DS Radiance for our silver. And what we're going to do here is we're doing a regular smile line in a French tip. And you can change it up and do um, your center line on different fingers if you like. See, we've done that there. And then on your thumb, and you want to try to let this get to a complete, you want to make sure too that your base color is dry um, before you go to this step just so that you don't have a lot of tacky gummy layers. And what you're going to do is take a, a really liberal amount on your brush and bring it straight across the nail on one side and then you're going to come through from the center and overlap that a little bit and just do it again. And depending on how wide your nails are will be about how wide you want to go you know with your silver line. You want to have a little bit of the blue showing like this. Then what we're going to do is take, you can take black or um, a dark silver or a hollow. What I used was another um, Franken that I made which is actually just Spectra Flare heavily mixed in with a black striper brush and you're going to just go ahead and take that and create a clean line across each French like this as well as following up the side and you want to put this uh, striping color overlap the silver more try not to cover up any of your blue or whatever color you like to use. Um, really any really rich shiny metallic color looks good. You can even do it with creams. So you just want to take this and go along each side and each tip. Should really only take you um, a minute to get these done. Um, for those of you who are really just learning to use your striping brush, um, it's a little better to have a little bit extra polish on the brush than for the brush to be really dry. Um, just in my experience in striping brushes. So, you know, you do have to practice a little bit so you don't drip it down onto the rest of your nail. And this is actually like a super, super simple design. And I found that I really like these pointed Q-tips even more than the regular ones to get little smudges and things with. And this was one of the designs that I came up with um, with the Nail Nation fan page. I came up with the idea of a challenge just to have some fun with... Um, some of my friends on Facebook and it was to watch an 80s video, 70s, 80s or 90s video and do a nail design that just kind of isn't inspired by that. It could be something based on the video, it could be something based on your um, thoughts you know when when watching the video or listening to the song. So I thought that would just be kind of fun um, to kind of take it back to kind of a retro feel and plus just to have fun with music as well.
So now what you need is a little plate or palette like this. And what I'm using here is three colors. This is Sinful Pink, number 871. Very bright pink. This is Lickety Split Lime. And it's actually an Insta Dry by Sally Hansen. And this is actually a Berry M color that a friend sent me. Um, and it is this, I think I'm saying it right, CN Blue. And it's number 129. But another kind of similar color that's easy to get around here is Wicked Sweet by Color Club. That's a really close color. Um, any any aqua will work, really, any, any color in this. You can add extra colors. You can throw some purple in there or, um, you know, orange, any other color that you would like to see. I just kind of like the way these flowed. Um, these are the colors that kind of came to mind when I was watching my video um, for the challenge. And it actually is kind of funny. Um, I would love to see video responses to people either doing this design or doing something from watching the same video. Um, and it actually was Cindy Lopper Girls Just Want to Have Fun because I thought that that would be a fun one to do. Um, so just thought of color and, you know, just fun, just a lot of fun, lighthearted nail art. And you're going to take a little brush like this. I used a toothpick in one of the, the first picture that you will see in this video um, to do this. And I'm doing it with this now just to show you there's a little bit of a different effect. And you're going to take this and you're just going to do little pulls. Almost like what you use to make flowers. Um, and they can be, you know, almost like paint splatter. They don't necessarily have to be uniform. And I liked starting with the pink only because you can go back and throw a little extra pink on there. Um, and it's a nice color to kind of overlap. And so we start here. And then we're going to go in with the blue. And you're going to do the same thing, but try to give them different angles and give them a little bit of a different pull so that they look a little different. Just try not to have like, you know, 20 identical lines because the point of this is to look kind of like you threw confetti in the air um, and just let it land. And for those of you who are a little worried about maybe getting the polish on your base color, um, you can always do your stripe across with the darker color the black after you do this step okay so now we have the blue and the pink we're going to go in now and do the green and it's actually super quick this is one of those designs that you can kind of um, put a base color on go about your day come back a little later and just throw on your design even for the night, if you're going to work and kind of have to be a little more conservative, but you want to wear something kind of fun out, this is a great design for that. And the point of this is to look kind of organic and not be um, super staged. And you can just go back in if you decide you want a little more of something. Or maybe you covered too much of something up. And then we're just going to simply coat this with two coats of top coat. And, of course, as usual, I like to go back to the old Faithful, which is Seshvit. Um, also, because it lasts so long, um, another secondary um, choice top coat that a lot of people like to use in place of Seshvit is the Posh. And that's also a really great top coat as well. And a little bit of a thinner top coat um, is C&D Super Shiny. That's another great one. Um, it's not as long wear, though, as the Sesh V is. And you just go over it like this. Um, I found that when you top coat these types of nails, going across it with a nice, thick, heavy coat, let that set, and then do your second coat usually works best less smearing and hopefully you like this this is just a real simple quick 
fun nail design and I will see you next time.